guys here are top 15 super useful and awesome good luck customization features that you must absolutely try out on your samsung galaxy and before we begin if you are new to samsung phones you'll have to download the main good luck app from the galaxy store and this is something that you must absolutely download because it unlocks a ton of awesome customization features and extra hidden settings now you already might have noticed that i've got the date right here in the status bar and having this is more useful than you think it is sometimes it can come in very handy so if you want the date along with the month in the status bar you'll have to download and open the quick star module in good luck inside tap on clock settings and enable the show date option this is going to add the date along with the time in the status bar now if you feel that this is getting a bit too crowded you can tap here and change the format of the date so you can put something that occupies less space and again this is a personal choice so pick the format that you are comfortable with and there is even more customization available for the status bar like you can have the time on the right side and now all your notifications are gonna be on the left and all the system icons along with the time on the right or even completely hide the date and the time if you want but i prefer having this on the left another thing that i really like about the quick star module is its ability to change the spacing between the quick setting buttons now to change you will need to enable this setting in the quick star module to decrease the spacing slide this to narrow and you'll notice that now you can fit more icons in the quick settings and to increase the spacing slide this to the left and as a result you can see there is more space between the quick setting icons and this is a personal choice so tweak this according to what's best for you i actually prefer having less space so i'm gonna keep this on narrow this actually looks good on the s25 ultra because this is a pretty big screen now check out this clock face looks awesome right or how about this one and this one as well it looks even better on the always on display now the phone does not come pre-installed with all of these clock faces you'll have to download the clock face module in good lock to unlock all of these additional clock faces and as you can see there are plenty of clock faces to choose from and if you aren't satisfied with all of these you can design your very own clock by tapping on the plus button and the best part is you can choose your favorite colors and also the font and if you spend some time and put a little effort, you can design your very own clock face that matches your personality. And once you're done designing, don't forget to save the clock face and then finally apply it. And also, the clock that you are going to design is going to appear on both the lock screen and also on the always on display. So check that out. That looks really cool. And guys, if you like the wallpaper, you can download this from my Flickr account. And if you're enjoying the video, make sure to hit the like button. Now let's get back to the topic. Now check this out. I'm going to double tap the back of the phone and watch what happens. So double tapping the back of the phone takes a screenshot and opens the share panel. Now tapping the back of the phone thrice launches the camera. So that is awesome. So to configure what happens when you tap the back of the phone, head on into good lock and download the Registar module. Inside the Registar module, you want to go into back tap action. From here, you can assign different actions depending on what happens when you double tap or triple tap the back of your phone. And you can even select if you want to open the share panel when you take a screenshot or just have the basic editing tools that you usually do when you take a screenshot. And speaking of screenshots, the next module you should download is Nice Shot. Once you do, open it and enable the Add Delete button option. So now when you take a screenshot, you'll notice a dedicated delete button in the screenshot panel. Very, very useful. And if you are wondering, the case that I'm using is the Ultra Hybrid Neo 1 MagFit case from Spigen. Also, whenever you screen record something on your phone, you might have noticed that it also includes all your notifications in the screen recording and sometimes it can contain personal information like names of contacts. To fix this, you can enable do not disturb during screen recording in nice shot 
and give Samsung Capture permission to change Do Not Disturb mode and that is it. And now whenever you do a screen recording, you aren't going to get any notifications on your phone, thus giving you a clean screen recording. And once you're done, your notifications are going to work normally. As you can see, the notifications are back to normal. And speaking of notifications, I'm going to switch on the dark mode and pay close attention to the notification effect. So check this out, the stars look absolutely beautiful. So we've changed the standard edge lighting to these awesome full screen effects. And just like the edge lighting, these are going to pop up whenever you get a new notification. And this is possible through the edge lighting plus module in GoodLock. So once you download this, open and head on into set custom style. And here you're going to find a couple of effects that play in full screen. So whenever you pick one of these, it will also change the lighting style from edge to full screen. You can also head on into colors and change the color of the effect from over here. Uh, make sure that color interwork is turned on to change the color. And lastly, you can head on into the advanced setting and tweak how the effect plays on the screen. Like selecting the water droplet option will make the effect look as if it is raining. So yeah, you've got plenty of settings and options to play around with. And you can even change the size of the effect, change the duration amount, and also turn on rotation. So you can really go ahead and customize as you feel like. And there are actually more effects to choose from. So these are the pre-installed effects. But if you aren't happy with all of these, then you can tap here and turn any sticker on your phone into a notification effect. And some of these stickers do actually look really nice. And if you still aren't satisfied, you can download even more stickers from the Galaxy Store by tapping on this icon. Or you can select your very own image from the gallery. And finally, this option will play the custom effect only when the screen is off. So while the screen is on, you get the normal edge lighting. And when the screen is off, you get the custom effect. So yeah, this is something that you should absolutely try out on your Samsung Galaxy. So you might have noticed that I've got more than 5 icons in the bottom row. Now, usually you cannot fit more than 5 icons, the phone will just not let you. But here, I can drag and drop one more icon to the bottom row. So if you want to fit more than 5 icons in the bottom row, which is also known as the favorites panel, you want to download the home up module in good lock, switch it on and then tap on home screen. Inside, you want to increase the favorites max count to 6 or 7. And that is it. Now you should be able to fit more than 5 icons in the bottom row, which is the favorites panel. And I think it makes sense if you've got the ultra series phones because this is a pretty big screen. Let's head on back into the home up module and once again we're gonna go into the home screen and here you wanna scroll down and enable the pop up folder option. So what happens is when you open a folder on your home screen it kinda takes over the entire screen of the phone. But when you enable this option and then open the folder, you'll see that it opens in a pop up and it doesn't take over the entire screen. And I think this is a far better option. And finally, if you head on into the task changer, you will be able to change the layout of the menu that pops up when you tap on the recents button. So by default, you'll have to swipe left or right. You can change this to something better like the grid layout, which kind of gives you a bird's eye view of every app that's running in the background. There are plenty of options to choose from, so you want to pick something that suits your personality. Now this video is going to be incomplete without me showing you this awesome looking volume panel. So this looks very different from the standard Android volume panel. You can see it's got different colors and it looks absolutely amazing. So if you want to customize your volume panel and make it look like this, you want to download and open the sound assistant in good luck. Once you do, inside tap on make your own volume panel colors and switch this on. And from here, you can pick the lighting effect that you want and you can also change the shape of the volume panel. I actually prefer the bigger size because it makes changing the volume a bit easier. Alright, so one more useful feature that you will find in the sound assistant is this media manner mode. 
Once enabled, this automatically mutes all of the media sounds once you set your phone to vibrate or completely switch off the ringtone. Let me quickly demonstrate. So right now this feature is off and what I'm gonna do is put the phone on do not disturb. Now assuming you are in an important meeting and you accidentally played something on your phone. And as you can hear, the media volume is still not off. And this can be a problem if you're in an important meeting. However, if you switch on media manner mode, the phone is also gonna automatically mute the media volume whenever you switch the ringtone off. So now if you play something accidentally, you'll notice that the media volume is off and you'll have to manually bring the volume up. Super useful feature, right? Alright, so the next module we're gonna download is the Camera Assistant add-on. This is awesome because it unlocks additional settings that are usually not available through the built-in camera app. And here, you wanna enable prioritize focus over speed. This is something that I've talked about a couple of months ago, but enabling this will help you take better quality photos. Let me demonstrate. So right now, we've got the setting disabled and you'll see that the camera takes a photo even if the frame is out of focus or not completely set. As you can see, that results in a blurry photo. This is because when you've got the setting disabled, the priority will be to quickly take a photo rather than wait for the camera to set the focus. I don't think this is a good idea because this is gonna result in many people taking blurry photos. But fortunately for us, we can change how the focus system works in the camera assistant. So once you switch on prioritize focus over speed, the camera is gonna wait until the focus is properly set and then it will take a photo, which will eventually result in better quality photos. But do keep in mind this adds a bit of shutter lag. But you do end up with photos with proper focus. So yeah, totally worth switching this setting on. Now, if you are using the navigation gestures, you might have noticed this white bar at the bottom of the screen. This is called the gesture hint and unfortunately, Samsung removed a setting which allowed you to get rid of this. Fortunately for us, we can bring this toggle back using the Navstar module. So once you download the Navstar module, switch it on, then tap on swipe gestures and finally switch on enable extra gesture settings. Now when you go back into the navigation bar settings and then tap on more options, you're gonna see a setting which is gonna hide the navigation gesture hint. And this is gonna give you a more immersive full screen experience. And lastly, if you wanna hide the bar that appears at the bottom of the keyboard, then you wanna head on into the settings and search for keyboard button on navigation bar. Tap on it and switch off keyboard button on navigation bar along with show button to hide keyboard. And as you can see, this will hide the bar that appears at the bottom of the keyboard making the keyboard fit at the bottom of the screen. But this is totally up to you, you wanna make this change as per your requirement. Now if you've got a Galaxy Note or one of these Ultra series phones, then you should absolutely download the Pentastic module because this is gonna unlock a lot of cool customization features for the S Pen. So first off, you can change the looks of the Air command menu, which is what pops up whenever you remove the S Pen from your phone. Now my favorite is the retro style and I think it looks really cool. The next thing you can do is change the pointer that appears whenever you bring the S Pen up close to the screen. I like the basic one because it looks like a mouse. Lastly, you can also configure what happens when you press and hold the button on the S Pen and double tap the screen. I like the option that lets you create a new note, but you can change this to whatever you feel like. You can set this to launch apps. There are plenty of options available to choose from. And guys, with that, we have come to the end of the video. And as always, if you have found this video to be helpful, make sure to hit the like button because that helps out a lot. Share the video and do subscribe to the channel if you enjoy watching videos like these. And this is Tech Guy Charlie, signing off.